Hold on one second, honey. So we're seeing your name bottom here. If there are any Yeah, I'm gonna do Court, I want you to keep an eye on this tri-field while I do that and see if you see any fluctuations on the needle. We're going to call out a few names. When we get to yours, if you could just open the rock. It's at 1.1. 1.1? Mm-hmm. So between 0 and 1. Edward? Edward. Is it Edward? No, not Edward. Okay, we're going to look back in. And we're going to ask if it is. There's two Edwards. Wow. Harriet. Is this Harriet? No. It's not Harriet. Okay, we're going to look back in here and we're going to see if it's Acton. 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 Acton, like A C T O N? Yep, Acton. Acton. Very nice to meet you, Acton. I don't know. Was Acton a man or a woman? I don't know. Okay, Acton, we're going to actually get a piece of equipment out. We're going to see if we could communicate with you. Would that be okay if we just tried? If we try to communicate with you with another piece of equipment, are you willing to do that for us? Yes. Okay. Thank you. We're going to get the speaker much. out. Okay, honey, tell the uh, tell the camera what just happened. Okay, um, well, our speaker is dead. <laughs> so, yes. I'll tell you what, though, we could we could use it without the speaker. This is loud enough. It should be, and we'll make sure that just make sure the volume's up loud enough. It can't be used without this orbit speaker. If you could speak through the noise. Would you be willing to do that for us? Did you hear something? I think it's like hello. Can you repeat that? Yes, and hello. 
You heard that too? Twice? I heard it. Except that sounded deeper, like a guy. Okay. Please, only act and speak to us. Is there anybody else here? Yep. There's more than one person here, Mom. Okay, of course. There usually is. And Corny is not moving. Did? There's somebody saying, help me. Acting. Is there someone else here asking for help? Okay, but not you. Alright, thank you. Is it a member of your family? Try to figure it out. This person asking for help, are they a member of your family? No. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Thank you, Acton. Bye. Okay. I like them. All right. Go ahead. Come still. This? Right here? Can you point where the other spirits are? That way. What happened? Spirit box 2.0. 2.0. Ooh, 
But what happened? This, love this, love this. What happened? I heard that oh, three times that I heard help, help, like two or three times too. And um, the person that wanted help was not the person that we were initially speaking to. Um, the person that we were speaking to, Acton, was actually the one saying hello. So very cool. And yes, it works. This, uh. Oh, Parker. Yeah, but look at the head. Or lack thereof. Yeah, because some vandals. Yeah. Like, hmm, hmm, that be a good idea to knock off. I know, that's a shame. That's really a sh This, uh. Oh, Parker. Yeah, but look at the head. Or lack thereof. Yeah, because some vandals. Yeah. Like, hmm, hmm, that would be a good idea to knock off. I know, that's a shame. That's really a shame. That was a beautiful stone. No kidding. That's probably Jesus. Take a picture of that. Um, I don't think so. I think it, no, it's a woman. Oh, it's a woman. Yes, you can tell. It's okay. probably Mary. <laughs> Our life shall appear. Take it from this angle, honey, so you can get the inscription too. Oops, I'm sorry. You know, yeah, you Some never know. Right that looks like a holding crypt down there. Let's go down there. I heard they're very active. Hey folks, Bobby J. Gallo here, and I hope that you are enjoying this episode of Gallo Family Ghost Hunters. But I know what you're saying. You're saying, Bobby, where can we get some of that elite equipment that you guys use on Gallo Family Ghost Hunters? Well, the answer is simple. Ghostgear.info. Just go to that site and you'll see a listing of all the gear that we actually use on our investigations, including the Ghost Meter Pro that you see on virtually every episode of Gallo Family Ghost Hunters. So once again, go to ghostgear.info, check it out, and you will see links there that you can actually click and use to order your very own paranormal investigative equipment. Right, Vudini? <laughs> He's not much of a conversationalist, really. Some of the funerary art is just breathtaking. What's this, what, what is this building over here? What is that? That's a holding crypt. That's the back in the days when it was too cold and the ground was hard, they would keep the bodies in there during the winter time. And then when spring came, they'd be able to bury them. Although down here, I can't imagine it would, they were to, it would ever get that cold. Ornament. Ornament? 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 Christmas winter. Ornament? You know, it's possible, Court. Yeah, we have an energy graph here. It's, it's low, though. It's very low. It's low? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I see, Court. Cool. Cool. 
Cool, babe. You're, doing, you're rocking, Court. You're rocking today. It's getting higher. Let's start walking down this way. Stagecoach. Stagecoach. Stage well, look at the look at the age of the graves we're around. That's how they used to get around, right? Stagecoach. Oh yeah. Says the good really. Promise to take a stagecoach? I don't know. There's no stagecoaches around. Oh, look at that. Look at that. So there's actually graves here. Uh, only three years old. Oh, Randall. Randall? Is there a Randall around? Honey, ask if it could point to Randall's grave. Can you show us where Randall is? Where his grave is? No. Boy, that would have been a great test. It doesn't know. No. No. Right, it's not no. Okay. There well, there probably is, but maybe that didn't cause that to say Randall. Right. Yeah. Right behind you. Okay. Try it again. It's not an exact science. Maybe look for something that looks like a a gravestone that has a drum on it because that was a popular I instrument back then. Is it a grave? Is it a gravestone or is, it a, is it a gravestone? People used, to, people used to drink bourbon back then. That's a very popular liquor, like instead wine. of the, yeah, instead of wine. Okay, so we're looking for a gravestone. I wonder if they're going to repair that stone. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. 
Rachel and Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Is Elizabeth? Elizabeth. Catherine. I see Catherine James. I can't read this one. Because it's broken. Yeah, I can't read the name on it. What was it? The spirit that's with me, pointing me to graves, is not the one communicating with them. Ah, uh, so there's more than one. Yes. Do you know where this person's grave is? No. I think... We're gonna, we're gonna have to start heading okay, now. We are actually going to have to leave. It was wonderful to communicate with you. We have to leave. It's starting to rain. Any last words we got to hear now? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to go. Gallo here with Courtney and Renee on camera. Gallo Family Ghostbusters, Icon Paranormal here at Elmwood Cemetery in downtown Charlotte, North Carolina. In the shadow of the skyscrapers of Charlotte, there is one of the largest and most notoriously haunted cemeteries in all of North Carolina. So this is our first investigation here. Um, it is a cloudy day, a little bit of ionization in the air. Uh, we're going to see if we can get some activity. So uh, we're going Right now. Did I say Ghostbusters? Yeah. Did I really? Yes. Sorry, folks, that might be a copyright infringement. I actually meant to say. 